Now, Egypt's defense minister has responded to an apparent assassination attempt on a government official. A bomb blew up as the interior minister Mohammed Ibrahim's convoy drove through Nasser city in Cairo. Abdul Fattah al-Sisi says the attack gives security forces more confidence to fight terrorism and curb all sources of crime. 22 people were injured in that blast. Ibrahim is the minister in charge of domestic security. He was involved in last month's forced eviction of supporters of deposed President Mohamed Morsi. Over 850 people died in the operation. Ibrahim is also strengthening the crackdown on the Muslim Brotherhood. He has ordered the detention of many of its leaders. This is the spot in Cairo's Nasser City neighborhood where a car bomb exploded just as a motorcade carrying Interior Minister Mohammed Ibrahim was passing. A statement from the Interior Ministry says that the minister was not injured in the blast, but he himself in comments moments later said that his vehicle received the brunt of the impact. He also said that four other vehicles in his motorcade were destroyed by the force of the blast. Talking to eyewitnesses, they uh, gestured how the car lifted up up, several feet into the air as it exploded, landing then uh, back on the ground. Other vehicles that were stopped at traffic lights waiting for the motorcade to pass were also damaged in that explosion. So far, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but this is exactly what some analysts have been warning about. That if Egypt's political turmoil is not resolved peacefully, then some armed extremist groups could launch their own guerrilla-style war. There has been some angry reaction here on the streets. Some of the people who live close to the scene of the blast are firmly laying the blame uh, on the Muslim Brotherhood, the power base of ousted President Mohamed Morsi. However, leaders of that movement who are not currently in detention have sought to distance themselves, saying that they condemn this type of violence. There have been death threats reported against Mohammed Ibrahim in recent days. So he will have stepped up his convoy. But this happened near his home. He may not have been in the convoy, though. There are reports that he wasn't there at the time. He said that many of his guards were injured. Maybe up to 20 people have been in injured, including passers-by. So whoever carried out this attack, as you're saying, it may well be that he had changed the where he was going, aware that something like this might be going to happen. Or but a I, number of convoys going in different directions, there, decoys. There, there may well be that. We don't have any uh, evidence of that at the moment. What we can say, I think, is that the state of emergency, which the interim governor, which he's a part, brought in uh, last month, for a month, looks likely that that will now be extended. And this will, as I say, plunge Egypt into a new uh, phase of instability and, and fear of what will come.